Hi guys, so hopefully everyone did well in the assessment today. Uh, you guys were able to get something running. If you had a few bugs, that's fine. Uh, it happens. So let's check out today's assessment. It was a movie app using Studio Studio Ghibli API. Uh, let's check out the, the API real quick. So, okay. So for this, you could have used the HTTP method, the fetch method, or the Axios. Any, either one, either one of those threes would have worked. So let's just check it out. Base URL. So that is the basic URL or the base URL. Uh, there is no authentication. Cool. Uh, workflow. You don't have to read. Well, you should read it actually. Okay, let's go. So what we wanted was films. Return all the films. Uh, okay, and then all we had to do was just do slash films. Uh, yep, just pretty much this link. Uh, put this, make the request for this link, and then you would get you would gotten back an object with all the films. So let's just check that out. So yeah, you would have gotten this. I don't have the extension on this, uh, but uh, you guys know what this looks like. It's just a JSON object that you get back. And okay. So on the right, I have my file set up already. It's just a simple HTML, nothing on it. Uh, so in this part of the video, I'll just, uh, we'll just work on the, the JavaScript. And then the next one, we'll do a CSS. Okay, so this is the link we need. Let's just copy it. Let's get straight to work. Let's put it on script. Okay. So I have not put my script tag, so let's just do that real quick. Script sources equal to script.js, and then we'll put the style sheet. Style sheet says, okay. Let's start off with a div. Let's give it an ID of root. Uh, you don't have to have this. It just, uh, I always like to do this in all my files. Mm, okay. So okay, let's just check this out first. Let's let's do a simple HTML first, and then uh, we'll do the JavaScript. So an image of Studio Ghibli logo. Okay. So you can't see it, but just like a little cat with uh, so Studio Ghibli. So you want the image later? So we would kind of need this link. Uh, we we would use that link later on. Uh, you need a header H1. Okay. H1. G H I D. So for the HTML, you can just go ahead and uh, you can worry about the divs later. So we need a select tag, name, give it anything, uh, movies, ID, select, dash movies. And then we would have a box that contains the title of each movie as well as a default blank section. So I noticed that some of you guys didn't uh, miss this part. So you do want all the options of the movies as well as the default blank section. So let's just go ahead and make that default blank section. So default is value nothing. And in here you can put nothing as well. Or you could just do a double. You could do quotes too. Uh, any of those works. So, okay. And the rest of the option will make out, <clears throat> make it through JavaScript. So do not hard code the options for all the movies. Okay, so this is done. Uh, a div empty at first. I'll contain H three title release. Okay. So a div that contains basically the I just say the movie description. The S C R P movie movie details. Uh, H3PPP. So since it says it's empty as first and it'll contain three titles, we can either go ahead and make the make the tags here, or we can just simply do it through JavaScript. Uh, let's do it the a little harder way, not harder, but uh, a little more, a little more challenging way. Let's do it through JavaScript. So for now, we'll just leave this as it is. Mm, what else do we need? So uh, next up is we need a form. Okay, let's do the form. So just to spread everything out and 
Let's do this. Let's do a form tag. Action. Uh, we're not doing. We're not sending it to anywhere, so we could just put a hashtag. Uh, but I don't think you need anything else in there. You just leave a blank. So you need an input text. Input text. Okay. You need another input, and then this one is a uh, and a submit input. So submit. S U B M I T. Uh, yes, and then a value of submit. Uh, submit, save, not save, just add to the front end. Okay. So this, you don't have to save it, meaning we don't have to do like a post request, save it to the API. We're not doing that in this case, but if we were to, then we would have to put a function on this uh, event handler and then run the function, which would make the API call or make a fetch call, which uh, that would post it to the API. So we don't have to do that. Mm. Okay, and then lastly, we need a UL tag right under this. So a UL uh, underneath that form, it should contain submit reviews of each film. So UL, we have nothing in this for now. And later on with JavaScript, we'll add the list items. Okay, so the HTML is done. Uh, I believe so. Yes, we have everything. Yeah, for now, this is fine. Don't worry too much on the HTML. Let's we'll just get to JavaScript, which is the harder stuff. Feel free to include additional divs. Okay. So the user should be able to. This is the functionality to use the select box, select the select film. When they select the film, information about the film, title, release your description. So we have that. We will, or we will be having that here in the div. And then uh, when they select a different film, the information should be replaced. Meaning every time you click, you choose a different one, uh, you get new information. So it doesn't keep appending. So meaning you'd have to clear it every time. And then the form, uh, we would have the text and the submit. So below the movie, submit a review. Uh, so uh, this was to make it make it seem like a review, movie review website. Uh, it says movie app was like a movie review website app. So you put uh, ally with, uh, yeah. So every time you write something, you submit it, uh, you, you add it here to the UL and basically to simulate a uh, a review of somebody or anybody's all right next up styling we don't we'll worry about this later on this is not too much this is maybe about 40 50 lines of code uh, probably less okay rubric i don't think nobody looks like this or at least i don't look at this but let's just check it out real quick uh, frequent descriptive small commits uh, okay i don't think i don't think well i don't think i do that uh, I don't think a lot of people do that. Uh, write clean, readable code. Okay. Manipulate the DOM using JavaScript. Okay. So that means we don't. We're not hard coding most of the stuff. So we're doing it the JavaScript. Cool. Use DOM events, event listeners. Good. Functions to keep your code dry. Dry meaning do not repeat yourself. So if you were to, uh, so don't have uh, many things that that uh, don't repeat many things that you could have just put it in a function. Uh, that's basically what dry means. Make requests to API. Okay, we'll do that. Parse data, turn it to a JSON. Create a web page using mockups slash existing web page. Basically, this. Uh, use common HTML tags to build a UI. Common, these are all common. Create a responsive UI, meaning later on with CSS. If you were to change the screen size, it would be a little more responsive. So.